DIY number one. I have this little cutting board, and this was a Christmas ornament from about five years ago. I removed the little cow off of it, and I thought that this would be cute for a little mini. So I'm just going in with some white chalk paint by Folk Art, and I'm just is two coats of paint to cover this little cutting board. And I thought this was so cute. And I knew that I could, you know, reuse it for something else. So we're going to make a little Christmas thing here. So what I'm doing now is I went in. My initial thought was I was going to go around like I'm doing right here with some Mod Podge. And I, I do not erase my mistakes. I show them that way, you know, in case you guys would do it, you would see that it doesn't work. So I'm going in with some glitter. Yeah, I know I had to take the top off of it, and I do not waste this glitter. I, I put the what's left on the paper towel back into the container, but see, guys, it wouldn't work. So I sanded it off and repainted it, and I'm going in with this little penguin, and I am just placing the little penguin right there, right in the middle of this little cutting board. I had this little bow in my stash and I thought yep that would be cute right up there now what I was going to do here I was going to add this peppermint and then I got to thinking oh that peppermint's just a little too big so I took it off and then I was looking really quick in my stash and I found this little Christmas tree and I thought that didn't work either so I'm going to go with this little greenery I'm going to put one two little pieces of greenery on top of the little bow. I think it's just so cute. And I was going to add the little Christmas tree. And then I thought, well, that would be too big. So I'm just going to go in with these berries. And I love using these little berries for Christmas decor. And it's keeping it in the red and the peppermint color. I just loved it. And then that completed that little project. Let me know what you think in the comments. Today I'm participating in the Minis Challenge, which is hosted by Corey from Crafted by Corey. This is a monthly challenge that she hosts, and she gives us all an opportunity to join the playlist and to show what we have created. And thank you so much, Corey. I've left Corey's playlist, or Corey's channel link, and the playlist link in the descriptions below. DIY number two. I have one of these little sleds from the Dollar Tree. I have made two or three in my Christmas series, if you would like to see how I made those. Um, yeah, and I have some scrapbook paper that was left over. I picked it up at Hobby Lobby, and I'm just going around this little sled, and I am just tracing it all out. I got very lucky on this project because... I almost did not have enough paper to finish it, but luckily I did, and I'm so thankful. And I'm trying to use up every scrap of everything I can find left over in my stash. Now I'm going in with a generous, I mean generous amount of glue from my jumbo glue stick. Just trying to make sure I have it all covered. Now I'm going to be placing down the scrapbook paper and pressing down firmly. But I do have to go over the edges and around the top portion and add some more. I just didn't want to stay that well. And then I'm going to go in with my nail file, memory board, whatever you want to call it, and go in a downward motion and just clean up the edges. Now what I'm going to do on the pieces... The other pieces of the wood here on this little sled. I'm going in with white chalk paint by Folk Art. And I'm completely covering the rest of this little sled. Like I said, these sleds are so cute. You can do anything with them. Now I'm going to go up here. I decided to go ahead and add another piece of matching scrapbook paper to this little portion as well. 
And I go in and do the same with the file, cleaning off the edges. And I had this little elf. And I thought this was so cute. I wanted to put him right there on that sled. And just added a little bit of hot glue. He's even got some peppermint colors going on there too. And I am taking now my garland stick. That's what it is. I cut some of it down. Made two little pieces that I will be gluing down on here. And then on the inside portion, I've got this little stocking with some peppermints in it. Most of the embellishments that you see here come from Hobby Lobby or they came from Walmart. And I will let you know if I have, you know, some that I use that come from Dollar Tree. And this one is finished. DIY number three. I have this little triangle that I purchased from the Dollar Tree. I went in and filled in the little holes with some spackle, sanded it down, painting it with white chalk paint by Folk Art. And I did two coats of paint on this. Now what I'm going to be doing, what am I doing? Okay, I had this little wall art and it works so much better than a window cling. This was purchased at Family Dollar. My husband picked it up for me. I thought it was so sweet of him. And here I am just pressing it down to make sure that it stays. And there's you get quite a few different designs on that one piece of paper. Okay, now I have some of these little straws from my stash. And I'm, I went in and I pre-measured them out. And what I'm going to be doing here is just adding just a little bit of hot glue around. And then I'm going to be going in and I'm going to be trying to frame out this little house. I believe this right there is the right one for that spot. Like I said, I pre-measured all of it. And here I am just laying it down like so. And then I will be proceeding to do, we're going to go do the roof now. I'm going to place this one. A little bit, I cut a little bit of hot glue on my hand. Yes, it did burn, but like, I think I'm so used to it now that, you know, I told my husband, I said, I don't even think I have any fingerprints left. <laughs> I think I burn them all. I do have finger protectors, but I cannot locate them. They are somewhere in my craft room. Just be very careful if you recreate this, not to get burned. Okay, now I'm going to be, I had to move this one over. Because I couldn't actually see very well from the angle I was sitting at. And here I am. You'll see that I just took it, move it over. Then the last piece, I had to actually go in and do just a little bit of trimming. Because I didn't measure it totally correctly. <laughs> You'll see here, I'm just going to pick it up. Take my scissors. Trim it right even with that little roof line there and adding some glue and I make this piece work <laughs> if you all have made it with me this far I want to thank you so much if you're not yet a member of my YouTube family I ask that you would hit the subscribe button ask if you like my content that you give me a thumbs up it helps my channel to grow helps YouTube to push me out for more people to see in the drop-down menu of the post notification bell, if you hit all, that's going to keep you informed of any and all of my future uploads. And with all that being said, let's get back into this DIY. Now, I got these little fake little Christmas lights. They were actually on some gingerbread men that I picked up from Hobby Lobby. And I decided, well, I need them for this house. So what I did off camera, you can see I added them to the roof there. I have this little wreath that I, bleh, I made this little wreath with some garland sticks and I'm just going in and I'm flocking it with some of that chalk paint from folk art. 
Here I go with my glitter. I love glitter. And you be able to see it in my videos. Well, for Christmas, I love glitter. But that's about the only time that I really use it. I'm just adding a little bit of hot glue to the top, to the bottom of this wreath as well. I'm just placing it in there. At first, I thought it wasn't going to fit. And then I was like, it fit perfect. I was pleased. Have another little embellishment from Hobby Lobby. This came, I think you get like 10 in a pack. And they were 50% off. A little stocking with some peppermints in it. That's the perfect touch for this little DIY. And we're going to go on to... DIY number four. What we have here is my cloche. My Dollar Tree cloche. I'm going around with just a little bit of hot glue. And I got this red and white striped twine from the Dollar Tree. And I'm just going around. And I'll be putting, wrapping it all the way around the bottom of the cloche. Okay, now that that's finished. I'm going in and I am adding some Mod Podge here. I probably should have done this this step last, but you know, you learn as you go along. Adding some little fake snow. And then what I'm gonna be doing here, I'll show you why I should have done this last. Uh, it's hard for these, these things don't wanna stick. The Mod Podge and the glue and then mixed with the snow. I had to add, you know, hot glue a few times to some of these. And these little trees came four in a pack from Hobby Lobby. 50% off. They had a whole section of nothing but little miniature embellishments. And I absolutely love them. Now I'm going to go in with Santa. And I'm going to put him right there in the front. He's going to be the star of the show there. And then I'm going to go in with the little snowman. Put him right in between those little trees. And then we're going to go in. I have to add more glue. Then we're going to go in. And we're going to add this little cute little tiny teddy bear. With the little stocking on. He's so adorable. I just love, love, love these little things. And then, let's see, I may have to add more glue. Yep, I had to add more glue to him as well. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pop the top right back on it. And what I was going to do initially is I had these little candy cane embellishments. And I was going to take them and crisscross them and just glue them to the top of the cloche and you will see here in just a second that it did not work out for me to do that i thought it looked like reindeer antlers and i just i just didn't care for it after i got it on there and then i'll show you here what i end up doing for this little project okay i got them together Put them up there. I even add more glue. And then I'm like, no, that's not going to work. Okay, then what I'm going to do now is what I should have done to start with. I'm just using my puff paint and I'm going to make some, make it look like snow running down. Just dripping down all over the top. And I thought this was a really cute touch for this little cloche. And I think what I might do is somehow try to create a hanger for it and use it for a Christmas ornament for my tree. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going in. Here comes the glitter, the glitter girl here. And I'm going to even add some red glitter to this one. And then here I am. Watch, watch guys. I try to add the little peppermint sticks to the top. And I'm like, no, that's not going to fly. So, I just left them alone. Now, my next step, I felt like it needed just a little bit more, a little pop of color. So, I am just going in with these garland sticks once again. I have two little pieces cut here. 
and I glue them down, then I realize that I need to move them over just a tad bit so that they will be in directly in the front of the little cloche. So here I am. I just added a little dab more of hot glue and I put them down just like so. And now I'm going to be going in and I'm coming over here and I'm getting this peppermint. First I'm seeing what it looks like before I glue it down. I like the looks of it, so I went with it. Adding hot glue, like so, and just placing it right down in between those two pieces of greenery to complete this little project. I hope that you all enjoy this one. It was super, super fun to create. DIY number five, final DIY. Got this little Christmas tree. They came two in a pack. They came, I want to say, I, they came from the Dollar Tree. Is what I where I think I got my husband got them. He's always picking me up things that he sees that he knows that I'll be that I could use in my crafts. And it was either Walmart or the Dollar Tree. And I just went in with some puff paint just to make it look like little Christmas balls, little red ones. And just adding them all over. So cute. Now here I'm just painting these little tumbling tower blocks with the white chalk paint by Folk Art. And then I go in, the glitter girl will be Grabbing up the glitter, added white and red. Then what I was going to do is use them for a, use these two for a stand and put the tree in between it. You can see how shaky it was. And of course, I was a little bit shaky too, but I had to go in and end up using some E6000 just to get it to hold. And then you'll see here in a second that I was going to add a peppermint to the top. But when I did that, it was so heavy that it just kind of like pulled the tree over. So I removed the peppermint. You'll see here. I end up taking it off. And I just go in and I add a cute little bow at the top. With just a little hot glue. And then what am I adding? A little Santa Claus. And he is carrying some peppermints as well. And this completes all my projects. Thank you for watching. And the final reveal will be coming up soon.